Hope you're all having an amazing Friday. Today's gonna be a little bit different of a ramble. I decided, you know what? I saw something the other week on Reddit that was a skill idea I have never seen before. And to be honest, I only really just glanced at it. I read a few comments and then I moved on with my day, but I was sure to save the post because I was like, who knows, maybe I'll make a ramble on this just to get people excited about a new skill. Because for those that don't know, a new skill did pass. Now, we don't know what the new skill is going to be quite yet, but we do know that there will be a new skill. Coming to old school, who knows when. And this skill is called Inscription. So before we get into it, drop a like on the video if you enjoy the video, of course, if you enjoy it. Um, and be sure to subscribe as well. All right, let's take a little gander. My camera is so messed up, I realize. Every time I switch scenes now, it glitches, so. This is what we're looking at. So, 4.4 thousand upvotes from a new skill proposal called Inscription. Audio narration and TLDR in comments. So, uh, yeah, anyway, there was a ton of comments on this. I'll uh, just, like, you know, scroll through it. Like, look at this. Look how crazy this is. This went, this went hard. So, listen, before I get into this, I briefly glanced at this, like, two weeks... When did this get... Okay, 10 days ago. I glanced at this 10 days ago, and I just went through the slides, and I didn't really take too much from it, because I wanted to really just share it, uh, kind of, like, on the spot, on a ramble, potentially, and, I, and then, like, today, I was like, okay, let's just do it. So, anyway, um, excuse, like, any, again, any mistakes I make, anything that I get wrong, just leave it down in the comments, guys. You know the drill. All right, so I also have 10 different tabs up, so because this isn't like a scroll down thing. I w you know what? There is a problem with the new... Okay, so Gentle Tractor, I think, was the originator of like the big ass like skyscraper post, <laughs> which honestly I kind of like because you just open up one tab and you can just scroll through it. With this kind of system, you have to like go through... Oh, I'm on the last page. Okay, so um, anyway, uh, this doesn't matter. I'm going to go to the first slide, which I already saved up here which is called Inscription. So yeah, I, I guess let's just take a look at it. I'm kind of excited for it. Again, I just briefly looked at it. It looks like it's something to do with paper, I think. <laughs> so yeah, let's take a little after I take this little sip. This stuff is good, guys. Body armor. You know what? I've seen this in the gas stations and stuff. This stuff's good. You guys should give it a try if you haven't already. This is the light kind because I'm trying to watch my cal. I'm not really watching my calories, but it it still tastes like pretty much like the normal version. All right. So, inscription, a new skill for old school RuneScape. Now, there's going to be a few chapters. What is inscription? How do I train inscription? Deconstruction. Oh, sorry. Deconstructing items. Rewards. Another more rewards. The inscription guild. Other training methods, books abound. Other training method methods, mystical mayhem. Jagex's four design pillars and closing thoughts. So anyway, let's just get right into this. I'm going to just leave my remarks as I go. Just, you know, whatever I'm thinking on the top of my head. So let's get into this. All right. Scrolls, tomes, and blessings have been a part of old school. Oh my God. I should really just stop with this whole like skilling thing in the background, shouldn't I, guys? I just can't. I'm too addicted. Um, have been a part of old school RuneScape since its inception, but are currently restricted to monster drops, mini games, and clue scroll rewards. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to give a shout out to the person that created this, so let's just do that right now. This was made by Cupcake Kieran. Shout out Cupcake Kieran. Um, I really should have done that at the very beginning of the ramble, so I apologize to Cupcake Kieran. Uh, you are a legend for just making this whole thing, uh, even if it's a bad idea, you're a legend for putting this together. I think it's a, I think it will be a good idea. Again, I, let me draw my final conclusions toward the end. So, um, we're currently restricted to monster drops, mini games, and clue scroll rewards. Inscription would put the power to create magical spell scrolls, both old and new into the hands of players, into the hands of the player. Excuse me. I'm like reading off my OBS and then, okay. Jesus Christ. All right. Doing so unlocks many new exciting ways to interact with the game, providing increased utility while also utilizing a much needed item sync in their creation. Have you ever wanted to turn your drops into banknotes or turn burned food into edible food? 
Not the second one, I'll be honest. I've never actually wanted to do that. Would you like a new tome which gives Earth spells a poison effect? Okay, so he's just throwing out a few ideas just to get us excited about it. So, scroll of notification. Look at that. You turn this into a paper and you make it. I don't even think you have to be at a bank to make noted stuff. That would be so OP. And I can already think of just so many places where this would just be absolutely awesome. Broken, but awesome. So, again, uh, we'll, look, we'll look more into this, but this already excites me because it's something that truly has utility from the get-go, and I can see it in so many places where this would just be super fun to use, you know? I'm just imagining camping at a certain place and just never having to really bank. You would just run out of supplies and then you'd have to bank. Scroll of deburnification. Deburnification. All right. So, again, pretty niche, um, but... It's cool, you know, burnt food can turn into normal food. That's kind of cool because right now burnt food is just permanently burnt food, which is fine, but, you know. Tome of Zalandra, which is an earth tome. It's cool, man. All right. And some new little, uh, whoa, what is this? Scroll of Recall. It just looks like he, wait, no, no, no. This is not the, re I, I didn't play that leagues where you could recall. I, <laughs> this, that, that would be busted as hell. All right, but let's move on to the next slide. How do I train inscription? To get started with inscription, you need three things. An ink pot, stackable, a quill, and some parchment. With your tools and materials and hands, you'll need to make your way over to a scribe's lectern. This is very similar to using an anvil and smithing. If you have ink, a quill, and parchment in your inventory and click a lectern, an interface will pop up telling you what scrolls you can add or you, you can and cannot scribe. I'm struggling, guys. I'm, I apologize. Select what you want and you'll start scribing. That's it. The quality of ink will determine the level of the scroll. How are scrolls stored and used? Scrolls are not stackable, but can be stored in scroll cases, which are held in the inventory. They work similarly to a rune pouch. Scroll cases can hold a limited number of scrolls with the quantity determined by the tier of the scroll case. A higher inscription level means a higher tier uh, scroll case, which in turn means using more <laughs> scrolls without banking. Th th okay, for those that are a little bit confused right now, don't worry. I think the more we get into this, the more we'll start getting an idea. It's like reading a novel for the first time where like it just starts off in the middle of the story and you're like, what the hell is going on? Listen, guys, we'll, we will get through this. I'll try to clear up some confusion if I get to that point. <laughs> but uh, bear with me, boys and girl. All right, it, girls. Uh, it is important that scrolls have some sort of use limiting factor. Some of the scroll effects as described would be detrimental to the game if players had thousands of copies without banking. To use a scroll, simply click it to activate it or selecting use with an appropriate item will trigger the effect. Scriptures, blessings, and tomes work passively. So, all right, let's just move on real quick and let's just see how this works. Inscription, deconstructing items. Before we get into the rewards of inscription, let's discuss the importance of deconstructing items and the key role they play in scribing higher level scrolls. In order to create higher level scrolls, you need higher level ink. In order to get higher level ink, you need to infuse a basic ink pot with anima. All right. What is anima? Anima is the magical residue left behind the deconstructing items. At a scribe's work table, you can place between one to three items onto it. You can then magically deconstruct those items to receive anima based on the quality and quantity of the items deconstructed. Is So it's literally just, it looks like it's just any item. Some guy in games talking to me. Let me just type a little love heart, which signals that, uh, let me just pull it. It just signals that like I recognize you, but I'm busy. You know what? That, that's why you always type the love heart, boys. All right. <clears throat> okay. You can get anima from de deconstructing just one item, but you have a chance of receiving a higher tier of anima if you use two and a guaranteed chance if you can deconstruct three. If you do not wish to deconstruct your valuable items, you can deconstruct new tablets. These tablets are solely designed to be deconstructed or alked. They are obtained from treasure trails in place of teleport scrolls, PVM drops, and from minigames. So what I looked at before reading this was something that, yes, the scrolls that... All those teleport scrolls you get from clue scrolls will, would actually be replaced with these new stones. Um, and that's because inscription would become the new, like, making teleport scrolls and stuff like that. But we'll get into that in a little bit uh, later. 
Once you have deconstructed your items and or tablets and obtained an anima, you can use the anima on the ink pot to create an infused ink pot. From there, scribe scrolls as you normally would. Okay, so coolest thing about this is it's an idea that is similar to, um, I believe it's invention on RS3, or what they were trying to do with warding, which is just like dissolving items. So getting a bunch of items that aren't leaving the game and getting them to leave the game through just destroying them and turning them into something else. So inscription. Rewards for inscription. So, now that you know how to scribe scrolls and how to infuse ink pots with anima to create higher level scrolls, what can you actually make? What benefits do you get for training the skill? What can these scrolls do? A better question would be, what do you want to do with them? All right. The concept of a magical spell scroll is so nebulous that almost any effect you can imagine can be applied to one. Ultimately, it's up to Jagex and the community to decide what effects they deem suitable for the skill and what inscription level is required. With that said, here are a few ideas and effects we've come up with. There are two main types of scrolls, an active scroll and a passive scripture. This is already awesome without even looking at these is it's up to the community to decide what would be good, what would be balanced, what would be fun to have inscribed. And as they say, I mean, there's endless possibilities with this. So let's continue for those that didn't even take a look at this, because I know thousands of you have already looked at this, um, or at least glanced on it at Reddit. But uh, yeah, let's go into it a little bit. So here's a few of the ideas that they came up with. Now note that these do not have to come from inscription. These are just giving ideas of what could be seen. Scroll of notification converts an item into their banknote form, which we saw. Um, oops. Scroll of recall or recall acts like the crystal of memories. Scroll of aggress aggression resets a tolerant monster's aggression timer. That's very cool. That reminds me of the war drum that would have been used with Bard. Um, scroll of deburnification turns a burnt food item into an edible food item. Scroll of decanting decants potion and teleport jewelry in your inventory. Kind of niche, but kind of cool. Scroll of ash, god ash, relights ash into fires. Interesting idea. Scroll of homesickness resets the home teleport timer. Again, these are really kind of niche things that a lot of people don't think about. But that that's kind of the beauty of this skill is. People could just come up with a new brilliant idea and it's like, okay, we can just write it down on a piece of paper and you got it. Scripture of Sweet Tooth. When eating food also restores 2% run energy. Uh, scripture of Opal, Opalescence, Opalescence, whatever that is, uh, increases Opal Jewelry activation chance by 15%. Scripture of Damnation. Barrow set effects are 10% more likely to trigger. Scripture of Consistency, if you hit a zero, your next attack will deal at least one damage. Scroll of Soul Drain, killing a monster re uh, recharges 2% special attack energy. Scripture of Artisan, smelt two bars at once from two ores. Scripture of the Devout, Prayer Potions restore an additional prayer point. All right. Here are some other ones. So the concept of inscription can cover more than just writing scrolls, and it needs to in order to avoid becoming herbal or 2.0. Tomes, blessings, teleport scrolls, and more can uh, can add increased variety and further utility to the skill. All right, let's take a little look. New blessings. The ammo slot is massively underutilized for everyone except rangers. Blessings only provide a minor prayer bonus, but why not more? Hmm. With inscription, new blessings can be written to offer other benefits for other combat styles and skills. How about an arcane blessing, which offers increased magic accuracy, or a lumberjack's blessing for a chance of two logs? This is awesome. I love this. Teleport scrolls. Teleport scrolls are currently a unique reward from treasure trails and some bosses. It would make sense for a skill about inscription to be able to create these scrolls instead, making them more reliably obtained, uh, obtainable than RNG. In their place, scrolls' drops would be replaced by tablets, which can be alked for gold or deconstructed for anima, as was stated earlier. So those would be replaced. Um, new equipable tomes. We have a, a few tomes already, the god books and the elemental tomes of fire water. However, I feel we could go a step further and make new magic offhand tomes to offer more versatility. Consider the following. Tome of Curses. Curse spells such as Stun and Weaken have a massive accuracy bonus to hit while this tome is equipped. 
Tome of Striking, Strike Spells cast while this Tome is equipped have a plus two damage increase to their maximum hit. Jesus. Oh, wait. Oh, that's Strike Spells. I was like, just any spell. Um, Tome of Zalandra, Earth Spells cast while this Tome is equipped have a chance to poison the target. Smoke Spells have their poison effect upgraded to Venom. That's pretty cool. Uh, again, just so many ideas. These are just examples. Inscription, the Inscription Guild. All right, let's take a little look at this. The Inscription Guild is run by none other than Mr. Mammal. No, I'm kidding. Mr. Mordot. Being a dragon of tomes and knowledge, he's the perfect candidate to run the Guild of Scribes. Even teachers need a hobby. He would also be our first non-humanoid guild master. This little dragon dude, the guy that we get sent to. That's actually kind of cool. That's a that's cool that they thought of this guy, you know. The inscription guild would require 40 inscription to enter and level 70 for the upper level. Visually, the inscription guild boasts layers of bookshelves, writing desks, runestones, and various nerdy NPC. Whoa, that's rude, man. Come on. No, I'm kidding. We're all nerds here. Who love to read and write. The library itself may not be as grand as the Archaeus or Prifidus libraries, but the inscription guild would claim its tomes are more valuable. Less is more, as they say. All right. The Inscription Guild provides the closest access from a bank to a scribe's lectern and deconstruction table and an NPC who can exchange stacks of resources for inscription tablets. The Inscription Guild would or, uh, also offers two new training methods, slash minigames for books abound and mystical mayhem. In addition to a unique activity similar to collecting defenders in the Warriors Guild, this would reward you with a unique item, an attachment which allows you to equip your scroll case in the ammo slot. Okay. Inscription. Scribing scrolls, blessings, and tomes is the core way to train inscrip in inscription. However, there are alternative methods that don't require you to pick up an ink and quill at all. Books abound. This training method is fairly simple, fast-paced, and will, famili will be familiar to most of you. Mr. Mordot will request a book from you. Books from the Scribes Guild have been borrowed and haven't been returned. You're tasked with going to the various bookshelves across Gilinor to grab the book and return it. If Mahogany Holmes has taught us anything, it's running around the map and doing things quickly is fun. <laughs> Did that teach us that? Uh, type 1 down in the comments if you agree. Type 2 if what? Okay, uh, this is similar to the Archaeus Library, but more forgiving and across the world map. I will say, there is a little bit of fun to that. I know I was kind of trolling earlier, but like you can make stuff fun, um, you know, just running around and just doing stuff. As long as it's not like incredibly tedious, and as long as there's not just like unlimited places to go, where just the whole thing feels like you have to like search on the wiki to see where places are. This training method doesn't require anything, but the more teleports you have, the better. You should be able to gather and return books incredibly quickly once you know where they reside and have teleports. As a resort, as a reward, you'll receive modest inscription experience as well as inscription materials, including ink, parchment, and tablets. Kind of cool. Uh, again, just more exploring around the world. Uh, that's just one of the training methods. That's a mini game, apparently. Now, here's Mystical Mayhem. This training method is more costly. So, I guess it's it reminds me of construction already. Uh, requiring inscription materials, runes for spells, and stamina potions. As a reward, it offers some suitably juicy experience drops. A wizard wants a shiny new spell book, and you've been tasked with creating one. You're given a list of spells to scribe and are thrown into a library to gather the materials you need. The problem is nefarious imps are making it particularly difficult, not, the, not to mention the library itself is alive. Bookshelves are sliding about, books are flying everywhere, pages are scattered, and imps are running rampant. It's absolute mayhem. Your goal is to assemble a spellbook while avoiding the hazards of the living library. You need to obtain uh, the binding... And three to eight pages, depending on the difficulty of the book. Then scribe as normal. You can use your own inks, but quills and parchments will take a bit of effort to get a hold of. Okay, okay. Interesting. You can obtain parchment in a number of ways. Entangling speedy imps. You'll need to use an entangle spell to restrict their movement and snag some parchment. Entangle will also help against flying books. Telegrabbing them, some parchments are, are laying around, but this is just... Or, but, is but are just out of reach. Some parts... Okay, I'm losing it. <laughs> Weakening tough imps. If you cast Confuse, Weaken, or Curse, when kicking a tough... A, we're kicking imps at this point? Jesus Christ. Uh, we'll drop a piece of parchment. 
casting the higher level versions will make them drop too. Using some scrolls from skill would be helpful in the mini game. Okay, bookshelves might delay you by sliding into your path towards the imp, and you might end up dropping a page if you're hit by a flying book, so watch out. So, I, again, I wish there was, like, more visuals with this to kind of describe it, but I think we can all kind of get the idea of just a library that's super chaotic, and you just have to do certain objectives. Um, interesting. Okay. So, with everything said and done, how does Inscription stack up against the four design pillars outlined by Mod Husky and Mod Elena at the Winter Summit? One. Is a healthy addition that is deeply rooted in the game. Inscription already exists within the game. We've explored it with quests like the Golem. Golem, my bad. I always say Golem. That is just going to take so long to fix. Uh, and have used magic scrolls and books as rewards from the current content. Inscription opens the floodgates of possibility with many powerful and quality of life effects that wouldn't be possible without the skill. The addition of an item sync is healthy and necessary for the longevity of the game which the skill adds seamlessly and rewards appropriately for engaging with the mechanic. It's true. Uh, I think that's a really cool thing, just being able to dissolve items. And uh, yeah. Okay, so number two is provides meaningful progression. Inscription offers a number of desirable benefits, and the higher level you are, the more you can enjoy. Every few levels offer increasingly attractive powers with new scrolls, tomes, and more. Increasing your inscription level also increases the number of scrolls you can have in your scroll case, meaning you can have more of the scrolls you carry with each skill, each level in the skill. Again, we have to remember that these scrolls are not just teleport scrolls. They are a bunch of different things, and the community can decide what it offers, you know, so um, these would have benefit all over the game in every aspect of the game. Um, okay, so number three appeals to a variety of player types. Inscription is useful for everyone. Scrolls, tomes, and blessings provide a number of benefits for PVM and skilling. Being able to turn items into notes is universally useful, as will being able to teleport back to where you teleported from, but more specific, scrolls can provide more specific benefits, which adds to the desire to train the skill to access more useful mechanics. And number four is, is enjoyable to train. The core training method may not be the most enjoyable way to train, but it's necessary to create the scrolls required. A lot of the enjoyment will come from using the scrolls. The alternative training method would be vastly more enjoyable, and more methods can always be explored with the community and dev team. So that is definitely the biggest downside in my opinion to this is that it really is just like create it reminds me of like creating tablets in your house you know you go to your house and you grab your soft clay and you make teleport tablets like, like nothing about that is necessarily fun but the use of it sounds incredibly fun you know what i mean and just knowing like i am making a bunch of these new scrolls that are just going to be super busted and i want to make a bunch of scrolls that can note my items so i can do this like fun grind later and just camp there i think that's where it really comes in now obviously there's methods that do cost money as he said um or she he or she assuming it's a he or i shouldn't assume anything actually at this point um but there's also scrolls that like like you would be able to make a bunch of money through this skill now, one thing I'm thinking of right now is the bots. <laughs> that would just be... This skill is just... Bot, bots would just love this shit, let's be honest. But then again, bots love everything at this point, so I'm trying not to bring that into the equation. Closing thoughts. What inscription brings to old school RuneScape is increased utility option and most of all, fun. Eh? Said it might not be the enjoy. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so it, most of all, fun. Many. Uh, the training isn't the fun part. The using of the scrolls is the fun part. I think that's where he's getting at. Okay. So many scrolls can help uh, change the dynamic of gameplay and allow players to interact with the game in exciting new ways. Some of these scrolls and tomes may be considered overpowered, and that's fine. Skills need to offer something strong to be uh, worth training and utilizing. Imagine Hunter without implings or construction without the Ornate Rejuvenation Pool. Inscription needs some big ticket benefits to help solidify its identity as a skill and help leave the game in a better place than it found it. There is no denying some of the proposed effects are inspired by League's relics. The simple truth is that League's is font. <laughs> it's, a, it's a simple truth, guys. It's a truth. Uh, putting a small portion of what makes League's fun into the main game will, I have no doubt, improve the experience players will have. 
It's worth keeping in mind that a high level of anima is required to access higher level scrolls and to keep or and to get high level anima, someone needs to deconstruct a high level item. The inclusion of an item sync is both necessarily necessary and helpful for the future of old school RuneScape. We could just take invention from RS3 wholesale and add it to OSRS, but why include a lesser form of something that already exists when we can do something new? So I do feel like that is a common theme of people wanting in a new skill is they want something that can dissolve items and create an item sync that does seem to be a recurring theme. Now, I know that a lot of people want combat to be the main focus of a new skill. I think that's the overwhelming majority. I could be wrong on that. I obviously, I have no data on that, but it just seems like whenever I talk to anybody, they want dungeoneering, they want slayer 2, they want sailing, which can also you know be exploring stuff. Um, so interesting. Thank you all for reading. I hope you're excited about the prospect of adding inscription to the game as we were thinking and writing about it. Now, yeah, so here, here's the TLDR. I'll just finish off with this and then we're going to cover a few of the comments. If you're here, it's likely because you want to know the details without all the fluff. So let's get straight to the point. Inscription is a skill about scribing magical scrolls and tomes to give you increased utility and benefits. Inscription already exists in the game, the Golem Quest. That's inscription. Scrolls can do a number of things things like turn drops into banknotes or replenish your special attack bar when you kill an enemy anything you can think of will probably work tomes behave similarly to fire and water but with a variety of effects you can train inscription by scribing scrolls um you need ink a quill and parchment scrolls are stored in a scroll case which holds a limited number of scrolls level up your inscription to access bigger scroll cases to scribe higher scrolls, you need higher level ink pots. To get higher level ink pots, you deconstruct items in anima, then use the anima on your ink pots to infuse them. You're feeling confident in your skills. Head over to the inscription guild run by Mr. Mordot. If scribing scrolls sounds a little boring, try two more engaging training methods. Books abound and mystical mayhem. You get to steal books and kick imps. <laughs> Some of the benefits of the skill might sound a little strong, but every skill needs something powerful to encourage you to train it. Imagine Hunter without Implinks. The skill as presented isn't perfect, but we think it's a good foundation to build from into something great. Okay, so let's go to the comments real quick. I'm just going to read a few of the main ones. I'm not going to read all the replies. So thanks for this well thought out idea. It's refreshing to see an idea someone put... Uh, Someone put thought and time into rather that than the same five bad ideas that you see posted here daily. Okay, um, I use mobile so much. I don't. I, I usually am like used to clicking people's names almost. After playing Shadowlands, seeing the word anima again gave me some PTSD. Okay, um, we're just gonna. That's the original poster. Any skill being a proper item sync is something I would support wholeheartedly. Yeah, that's something I definitely see quite often. Um, okay, audio narration, uh, we should, you guys should have just listened to that instead of my dumbass, alright. Uh, this sounds fucking sick, way better than sailing, everyone seems so obsessed about it. <laughs> Thing is, is like, meh, well, well, yeah, I'm just gonna read this without offering too much of my own insight. The biggest future problem is that it leads to passive bloat, something that plagues RS3. You can largely see everything that a player has by just looking at their inventory and their gear versus needing to understand the 15 passives that are active. That is a good point. I'd much rather the scrolls be a uh, new equip slot rather than something you activate and last for a set amount of uses or time. This is very much in line with my idea, which was essentially the RS3 pocket slot and nerfed League's Relics. Okay. Um, love the original idea. It would be really cool if we could create our own tomes to equip in the offhand slot. Some additional ideas. Uh, perhaps smithing blueprints could create, could be created with the appropriate inscription and smithing levels. New armors and weapons or even augments to existing ones. Translating old languages found in ruins dungeons to use in the new spells. That's pretty cool. Uh, lots of possibilities with this skill. This is a mashup of stuff in RS3, which which I liked in RS3. Just don't know how well it will keep OSRS old school. Item prices will crash when soul split and noting items in your inventory are in full swing. It's a good point. Big fan of this idea. Nice to see an actual skill proposed instead of some minigame content. Oh god, those people that just have stacks of burnt fish would just crash the economy. <laughs> This is probably my favorite skill proposal I've seen so far. I was wondering why it seemed somewhat familiar and what was appealing about it. And I think the point that it's like a toned down version of League's Relics make 
uh, made it make sense immediately. I love everything about this from the potential to make new items to a really reliable item sync. Okay. Um, my one very minor concern is the effect on the economy. My expectation is that a lot of the items that will be utilized for obtaining anima will be the cheapest possible items on the Grand Exchange for their tiers, and I'd like to know how the items are tiered for deconstruction. If all rune tier items can be used for anima, I can see the cost of these items fluctuating greatly as players jump from one to the other. This can have a negative effect on early and mid-game players who may be relying on that armor that until now has remained somewhat consistent in price. Like I said, it's a really minor concern. Overall, I think this is uh, really well thought out, and I can see myself completely falling in love with OSRs again if, if inscription was added. Um, again, refreshing idea, well thought out. Um, yeah, so I'm going to share a few of my thoughts now as we kind of come to a close here. So I'm just going to pull up the uh, TLDR so you guys can just read that real quick if you guys want to just review it. So my honest opinion, there isn't, there wasn't enough here to really like make me think it's a good or a bad idea. I'm very neutral on it right now. And the reason I am is because I just want to hear skill ideas. So I'm not just like, oh my God, add this. Like this was not something crazy, uh, but it was also not a bad idea. I like that it's original. Um, I don't really like how boring it's going to be and how, uh, <laughs> like, it's going to be the most boring skill to ever train, in my personal opinion, just on, based on what I saw here. Um, but then again, when you look at some old school skills like Winter Todd and, uh, you know, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of skills where the training is just boring as hell, but you just got to do it. So, again, if we were to look at new skills being, like, we can only have one more skill in old school. If that's the consensus and that's what people are thinking, I feel like that's what a lot of people have internalized almost. is like, we get one shot at a new skill. It better be the fucking best. You know what I mean? Then, you know, I probably wouldn't want this if I could only have one skill. I would probably want Sailing or Bard or something... You know, it just has more life to it. This doesn't feel like it has life to it. This just feels like, uh, I don't know. But it doesn't feel like a cool skill. It just feels like something you could add. But at the same time, if we thought about it like, okay, we're going to get five new skills in the next decade. I could see this being one and I would happily vote yes to this. Um, as long as things weren't too busted and we kind of, you know... Um, just uh, narrowed it down a little bit more so we know exactly what's what's going to come from the skill. This is a very broad overview of what could happen. So I want to know what your guys' thoughts down in the comments. So write down what you guys think. Is this a bad idea? Is this a good idea? I'm pretty neutral on it. Again, what I just said, if there's only one skill ever to be added to old school, I would not vote yes to this. That's my personal take. Um, there's many better ideas that I've seen. But it's still a really cool thing, and I really uh, appreciate this guy for making this. Cupcake, Kieran, thank you very much. Uh, this is just awesome. If you guys have seen other uh, skill posts and stuff that you want me to review in a ramble, feel free to drop them down in the comments as well, or just let me know, and I can search them on Google, because I don't know if you can post links on the comments. Uh, maybe you can. Anyway, um, that's it for now. So let me know if you guys enjoyed this. Do you guys want me to cover more community stuff just to get us more... I don't know, uh, just to have more discussion going on and you guys can just like sit back and relax instead of having to read something. Just, you know, it's a lot sometimes to read these big things. So let me know down in the comments. But other than that, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day. I love each and every one of you at, on a brotherly level. Like we're all brothers, ancestors, uh, or, you know, like the, you know what? I got to stop saying, I think there's actually more than three girls that watch my content, actually. I, I took a look. We're actually increasing. We're at like 0.7% women here, so very cool. Um, anyway, guys, yeah, I got to stop talking. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.